Hey everyone, I am in Vladivostok and behind me the bay is frozen so I thought I really want to explore that. Yeah, so let's start with the beach here. <coughs> you can see the sand and it's also like possible to see where the water starts. I kind of again hunting my shape like in the other video. No, like I'm, I'm really curious. I mean it must be safe otherwise people wouldn't be there. It's just like really thick ice. Wow. And apparently slippery. <laughs> and so when I took the train here, I also I already I've already seen like that the sea is frozen here. This is insane. Never thought I would actually walk walk on walk on the sea. Wow. After walking a little further, although it looks the same, the texture of the ice kinda changed. Or I kinda got used to it, I don't know. But it's it seems to be a lot easier to walk on it. So it's not so slippery, but still I kind of feel like I have to watch every single step. And over there, you see like that the texture is changing again. And yeah, I'm wondering. So it looks, it appears to be that the people there are fishing. Oh, and actually when I came here, I also... Um, so there were cars driving on the ice, which just seems to be insane. But, I mean, the people, they, they hopefully know what they are doing. So here we have this texture change and it's like a little more icy and slippery again. Whoa, this is like different here and you also see like this stone that has kind of yeah, melted down in the ice. Maybe it's because it's black and it gets, gets warmer. I don't know. I want to know your theories about that. There's like another one. So here. I want to go to a kind of less icy place again with a little more snow. And the new texture here again, it's again like really difficult to walk and really slippery. <laughs> I kind of have to watch every step. And it has also like interesting structures. So it looks like it could be fluid, but it's actually... Ah, you can see it, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> it's uh, solid, sorry. I was kind of, I kind of lost my sentence. Whoa, oh, I, I haven't looked back yet. So let's have a look up. This is <laughs> it's not so far the the distance that I've covered but I think yeah just be careful and ah. sound comes from like ice crushing below my feet and in the first second it was really scary but I think it's okay I'm kind of looking forward to some some place there. You see that the whiter spots. I guess there is more snow and it will be easier to walk. And uh, in case in case you're wondering, like the temperature is actually quite nice. So I'm I mean it's cold. Uh, I haven't looked it up yet. So it should be I don't know. I I just have no idea. And but I'm just wearing like a normal jacket, my snow boots, some gloves. And 
no nothing like special under it yet so I'm pretty confident that all the clothes I brought will keep me warm <laughs> warm enough so a few meters we will have reached the snow I mean it from here it looks like snow maybe it's just wider ice I don't know See footprints from others. We can hear the sound of crushing ice again. Oh, and it's a lot easier to walk it's as I expected. Here it kind of looks like the waves get frozen. I just realized that there is a um, peninsula that you can see over there and like theoretically I could walk on the ice all the way to there. This is like insane. Oh, this is... <laughs> that was a little scary because here the ice got thicker and you see I, I'm sinking in like a little more. Oh, this one not? Weird. It's like uh, not a nice structure. So, but that is, yeah, like the peninsula thing that, like the entire bay is frozen, it's kilometers of ice. With this view on Vladivostok, I would like to end this vlog today. And remember, even if standing on ice, <laughs> don't panic. Bye.